Hi Petals, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm Aura and thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we do have another pick a card reading and this reading is for messages from the animal world. So we will be connecting with the animals in all their beautiful forms and diverse forms including any animals that may work with you as well and I'll be channeling through messages that want to come out for you including any guidance and advice also so animals are incredibly wise and so very powerful in many ways they are connected to the earth the sea the skies and also the astral planes and so they can often bring through profound messages and offer very different perspectives that our current human selves may overlook or not quite see clearly. I've been really wanting to do a reading like this with the animals for some time and this week just felt like the right moment. It was really calling out to me. So yeah, here we are and I'm really looking forward to these readings today and seeing what messages the animal world and all the animals creatures wanna bring through for us, what guidance and messages and advice they have for us. Okay, so remember my loves that all my readings are timeless. So whenever you click on this reading is the right time for you. Thank you to everyone who has joined us and subscribed recently. I'm so happy to have you here and I appreciate all of your support via your comments, your likes, shares and subscribes. Without you, this channel would not be growing as it is and I'm so, so thankful for you. Okay, so today, my loves, I have intuitively um, selected some animal crystals to obviously complement this beautiful animal reading today, this animal pick a card. And um, just feel free to pick whichever animal crystal is calling to you or also what piles call to you so you may be drawn to a specific crystal in particular and also a different pile as well that's completely fine whatever your intuition tells you is right for you that just means that there are messages spread throughout the piles for you so for pile number one we have this beautiful fluorite deer crystal This deer has a little chip on its ear, um, which I absolutely love. I think it just adds some character to the crystal, you know, because nothing is, is ever perfect. Um, so I really feel that's a strong message there. Um, for pile number two, we have this gorgeous, cute little red jasper dolphin. And for pile number three, we have this onyx crow. Absolutely beautiful, very magical. And for pile number four, we have this super gorgeous, pretty, fancy lace agate cat. Okay, so please pick a pile or crystal that you feel intuitively drawn to. Like I said, you may pick more than one pile, whatever your intuition tells you is completely fine. If you do need some more time to choose your piles, please just pause the video and then scroll down in the description box to the piles time. Click on that timestamp and it will take you directly to your reading. So with all that being said, my loves, let's get into these beautiful readings today and I shall see you in your selected pile. Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. If you selected this beautiful fluorite deer, this is your reading today for messages from the animals and the animal world. So the deer is 
as I was connecting to this energy, I was really trying to connect with the energy of the deer and I was getting an energy of like tranquility, a peaceful energy, um, like a fun, relaxed energy as well. Um, the deer, the deer, the animal deer, it can talk about um, peacefulness. It can talk about instincts as well. Um, it can also, they are also very agile, the deer. Um, and I also feel like they are animals that, that can be on high alert quite a lot. They're always alert, their ears are always picking up sounds and noises around them. So I feel like you might be someone who may be on high alert or you are someone who is very tapped into your intuition and your instincts. Um, I'm also being drawn to an energy around your heart center as well. I feel like there might be some sort of activation around the heart center in particular. Um, something to do with your heart, um, a and something that is really linked to that, something that you feel very loving towards, very passionate. Um, so for some of you, you may have recently um, started a new relationship or friendship, or there's some sort of activations going on within these areas in your life. I'm strongly being drawn to that. Um, which is really interesting okay so let's just pop that crystal to one side and we'll we shall get in to your um cards today i have already shuffled and pulled some oracle cards for you off camera but we will also be diving in with the animal tarot as well and towards the end of the reading pulling you some more oracle cards for further advice and guidance as well for whatever wants to come through today Okay, my loves, so um, let me just pop this to one side. Um, okay, so yes, so we're first gonna start with this Oracle card here. I asked for your overall energies that surround you currently in this point in time. So we will be um, diving into that and then pulling through the tarot. So let's see what message wants to come through for you. Oh wow, we actually have the dolphin that's coming through here and that says joy, light, flow, compassion. Yeah, there's, there's this energy of lightness around you right now. Um, this um, Dolphins are very much an, an animal who are very tapped into their fun side as well, but they are also very intelligent and, and uh, very much tapped in to their inner guidance and wisdom as well. Um, so there's definitely an energy around you that is quite light and joyful, um, whether this is um, you wanting to embrace um, a more joyful and fun life um, or whether you are just going through a more joyful and light time in your life or this is an energy that is coming up for you very soon in the near future but you are someone who is very compassionate um, and someone who I feel likes to connect with that inner child. I feel like your, your inner child is a strong part of your personality um, and is something that needs a lot of attention. So if that's something that you don't do, I feel like your inner child is really calling out to you right now to really connect with what brings you joy, what makes you happy in life. And um, I'm also getting this feeling of being free as well, this energy of needing to um, not be restricted or restrained in any way. Um, and the dolphin is an animal of the sea, the of water. So you may have um, strong water placements in your chart, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to, but this is just the energy that's coming through and that is around you strongly at the moment. Um, this energy of being able to like swim wherever you want to swim and go wherever you want to go. I feel like things are starting to open up for you. Um, and also, it's really interesting how I was picking up with the heart centre here, this energy of the heart and also water is coming through as well water is linked to emotions which can be connected to the heart as well the heart space um, so you might have been going through a period um, of you know um, purging emotions recently um, I, d I don't feel like there's anything stuck at the moment I don't feel like there's any blockages um, I do feel like things are flowing pretty freely um, so just make sure that if you are getting any emotions come up or to the surface that you do let them be released and you do let them um, come out and um, you know 
um, be purged and be healed but I do feel like you've already done a lot of that work but I am being called to go straight in with the tarot here so we will come back to these oracle cards in a little moment but let's get on with some tarot messages from the animal tarot what messages want to come through for pile one today what animals want to bring some messages through what messages want to come through for pile one today what do they really need to hear right now pile one thank you yeah we've got the two of summer there the two of cups exactly relationships and connections are quite strong around you right now pile one please thank you okay we have the four of autumn and we have the six of autumn okay lovely We have the three of spring on the bottom of the deck. Sea turtle, again, another water creature here coming through. Stop and take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon past successes. It's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all of your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. Okay, interesting. One more card. Oh, okay, take it. We've got the eight of summer there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what these messages say. And we have unity on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so with the two of cups here, this card is the lovebird. <laughs> Beautiful. And that says you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnership in distress can be saved. Don't give up. Yeah, this is exactly the um, energy that I was picking up on at the beginning from the dear crystal. It's like this, this heart activation coming through. Um, and yeah, relationships and connections. This can also be friendships as well is definitely a strong energy that surrounds you right now um so yeah you can expect to receive a new connection a new love connection possibly but also another friendship as well or a deepening of existing relationships and connections depending on your personal situation if you are already in a relationship or if you are single there's definitely an area and an energy of love around you right now um and with the idea um with the deer and the dolphin, they, they're both quite light, um, light energies. Um, very much the deer springs on their feet from one place to another, very light and, and agile is a word that's coming through. And the dolphin is incredibly agile as well. You know, they swim through the water with ease and they do all these leaps through the air, out of the water and back in again. Um, and there's just that energy of things becoming more free, things becoming more ease, easy, like um, anything that might might have been stuck or stagnant because we do have here the four of autumn which can talk about um you know not not restriction that's the wrong word but it's like um it's it's keeping things to yourself you know it's clinging on to something um it's like keeping things stuck like not letting things out if that makes sense um and this card it says um the animal is the squirrel that's coming through here and the squirrel does kind of hoard things they hoard uh, they hoard their acorns um and they make nests as well so you might have been in an energy of um, trying to cling on to something or hoard something in some way. Um, it says here, be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. Consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that to keep people out. Okay, so... Um, yeah, you're being asked to balance this 
um, energy of um, trying to keep things to yourself but also trying to keep things away from you as well so maybe some of you have been reluctant about opening yourself back up to a connection opening yourself back up to dating or a relationship or even new friendships as well because I don't think it's talked about enough that friendships can cause um, a lot of it they can cause trauma to be honest you know we can we we've all had negative experiences within friendships um, that have impacted our lives or our ways of um, you know ways of viewing friendships and connections in some way so you're being asked here to be open to receive um, new relationships and new connections in your life and that makes total sense here with the six of autumn being your next card the kiwi bird is coming through here and there is a feather falling from the sky so there's something here that is that is very much protected you may have been seeing signs um, recently um, from your your spirit guides, your angels and your spirit team, specifically feathers. Um, but this card says your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans or receive a grant or scholarship. In return for heaven's blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable charities. Okay, so finances are looking good here. You may have been saving um, and putting time and energy into saving your funds um, but if not I'm also hearing there's going to be some sort of gift some sort of financial gift coming to you some sort of loan that might be approved um, even possibly inheritance for some of you that you know um, you weren't necessarily expecting um, someone might have left something to you that you didn't expect um, and that's going to be a surprise and a blessing from heaven for you um, with that feather falling down from the sky there's definitely something incoming for you that you are not expecting and it's a blessing for you and it's the universe giving back to you because of what you have been giving out to others so remember that what we give out we also receive back um, whether it's positive or negative but for you I feel this is strongly positive, definitely. Um, I don't feel like this is negative at all. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely success here. Some um, success with your hard work and also your generosity as well. So especially if, if you have been giving to others, expect to receive something back um, coming in soon for you here. Um, now, this could be a financial a financial blessing like I said but it could also be energetically as well so it could be someone offering you their time offering you their um their wisdom or their advice because that is also something that translates to energy um, and time is energy money is energy it's all part of the same pot it's all part of the same thing um and I do feel like if it's not a financial reward, it's definitely a reward within a connection or a new connection, a new friendship, a new romantic interest, a new relationship, and also deepening relationships as well. Um, we do have here with the last card, the eight of summer, the kangaroo is coming through here, which is another land animal that likes to jump from one place to another, very agile on their feet. But also the kangaroos are incredibly strong, incredibly powerful. Powerful. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen, um, you know, um, a, a, ma a male kangaroo in particular, I think. I think the females are very, very well built as well. But a mature kangaroo, an adult kangaroo, when they stand up, they are incredibly muscular. You would not mess with a kangaroo. And they have so much energy, particular in their, their back legs here and the lower part of their body. Um, so you are someone who is incredibly strong i mean told for some of you you might be very physical physically fit you don't have to be that's just a message that's coming through here um for some reason they want they want me to mention that um but anyway this card says you feel that there's more to life than what you're living so it's time to move on you may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy either way you're in control yes exactly the kangaroo is incredibly powerful they're drawing me to that moon there on the horizon um 
I do feel like um, you're definitely tapping into your intuition about something here, something that you know does not serve you anymore. This could be a relationship, a connection, it could be a job, it could be a mindset, the way that you're approaching something, the way that you're um, thinking about something. It could also be holding, possibly holding on to past past traumas here like I was saying about you know negative experiences within connections you could be holding on to something like that and you're realizing now that you're ready to let go of it you know and understand that it's time to move on that something needs to be left behind in order for this new connection to come through in order for this success and prosperity to be able to be brought through to you and I'm being told to tell you to let yourself open up to receive as well you might be um, be holding yourself back you might be closing yourself off you might have built up a lot of barriers for whatever reason um, and you're being asked to try and you know release or relax those barriers relax those boundaries you know tap into your intuition your intuition will always tell you what is right for you and when you need to put the boundaries up it's really getting that balance between your intuition and anxiety because i know that that a lot of us can um and i myself did struggle with this and do occasionally still at times struggle between knowing what's intuition and what is just your anxiety and what is just your trauma and your fear from past situations um, happening for you again. So it's really tapping into your intuition. Your intuition is very subtle. Your intuition just knows. It's just like this inner knowing, whereas your anxiety comes with fear. Your anxiety is very, um, very loud and very, um, um, it just comes with a, with a fear and anxiety and it's like you can feel it in your chest and you know something just doesn't feel off but your intuition is very calm it's very smooth it's just there and it's just this inner knowing um, and it just it just comes like that as well so it's often your first thought as well without overthinking it I'm seeing like the nine of swords energy overthinking something here um, but you're you know you're being asked and guided from the animals to just tap into this lighter energy um, have compassion with yourself just let things flow try not to hold on to things too tightly we do have here at the bottom of the deck we have the unity card polar bear is coming through here that says embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor for, find a new leader or spend time with others who are on a sacred path exactly here why i was picking up on this like spiritual energy this intuitive side here um and i'm being drawn to the butterfly there i feel like you've gone through a major transformation in your life and um possibly um recently come onto a spiritual path i do feel like for for some of you spirituality has not been a huge part of your life for your entire life it might be something that you have tuned into um you know part way through your life or later on in your life or even something that you are just getting into or opening up to now um and you're being asked to embrace this side embrace this um the, the spiritual um, enlightenment I'm being told. Um, I feel like you do have strong gifts within spirituality. I feel like you are meant to be some sort of leader in the future. You are meant to, um, to bring through um, messages of advice and wisdom for others as well i do feel like this is something that you're probably going to be tapping into if you haven't already and it's really interesting how i was picking up on that nine of swords energy because that is this card here the nine of winter it's this energy of you know being in your head over worrying and being overly anxious this card says here your worries and fears aren't real they're fueled by focusing on the negative which gives power to that which you're afraid of stop worrying and let go of fear and everything will be okay yeah it's exactly how i was saying about the intuition versus um anxiety um intuition does not come from a place of fear and that's how you know that it is your intuition speaking so that's really interesting i was picking up on the nine of swords and it's come through there for you um but also it's not surprising at the same time okay so let's get into your oracle cards and see what other messages want to come out for you we have here 
the Wombat Spirit Be At Home. We have the Owl, exactly intuition. You see clearly now exactly why this intuition keeps coming through, this message here. We then have Watch Your Thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Exactly, this just makes total sense. We have... Oh, Blue Dragon from the Pleiades, and that says, prepares you to accept source healing, accept a heart activation, give and receive heart healing. Wow, this is just incredible. I just love how this reading is flowing. And finally, we have Sheep, act with fortitude and cooperation. Archangels Gabriel and Hope are coming through here as well for you. Okay, this is really beautiful. I love this. Um... Okay, so we have here, um, be at home. So I do strongly feel like it's, you're needing to call back your energy and being told. Yeah, you're needing to, to call back your energy. Um, this is a really interesting message come through. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, you're, you've given your energy away. You've given your energy away to people, places, things, situations, relationships, connections that have not reciprocated your energy. They have not respected your energy. They have not um, appreciated your energy. Um, and it's like if you feel like there's something missing, some of you might feel like there might be something missing right now. You might feel like energies of... Um, low energy almost like um it's almost like f also feeling like someone's pulling at your energy as well something's pulling at your energy and you're being asked to recall your energy back home okay so how can they do this how can they pull that energy back home to themselves okay just sit with yourself and just declare out loud in a in a in a quiet space you could play some peaceful music singing bowl something like that some of you may have a singing bowl yourself just sit in a quiet place and just center yourself ground yourself imagining imagine roots growing out of your feet and going through the earth and and anchoring into the core of mother earth grow those roots in there, really anchor them in, ground yourself, and then declare either out loud, or if you're not able to do that out loud, just within yourself, that you call back all of your energy from anyone who has, um, anyone who has taken it from you, okay? Um, it's something that a lot of us have to do, but we don't realize it. We or we just forget to do it, um, and you know it's nothing. It's nothing to worry about at all. Um, it's just calling back this energy from other people, from interactions that may have drained us, um, from things that may have you know put us in a state of shock or a state of anxiety um, or fear, and just call that energy back to yourself and to your soul and. Um, that is going to enable you to be more open to healing um, within within your heart space in particular, and also being open to new connections coming through here as well. Um, it's also really going to help with your intuition. It's really going to help you decipher between the, the energy of intuition and the energy of fear and anxiety, okay? Um, you are incredibly intuitive. There's, there's things that are gonna be opening up to you, things that you are going to be start to be shown and uh, you're being asked to really pay attention to that and really trust your intuition and trust yourself because your thoughts, not your thoughts, your intuition will not lead you astray. Your intuition will never lie to you. And it's like once you've mastered the trusting of your intuition, things are really just going to start to flow a, a lot more smoothly for you. Um, we do have here, watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Exactly. So just remember to try and keep your thoughts 
as positive as possible. Um, now, I'm not talking about toxic positivity. I'm not talking about ignoring all of the negative thoughts. We are humans. We all have negative thoughts and it's completely okay. But don't get drowned in them. Don't stay there. Process the negative thoughts. Decipher and realize what is just a, an irrational fear and anxiety and what is something that you do actually have to deal with and you actually have to do something about and if you can't do something about it let it go you know don't don't consume yourself with um, negative thoughts and also be careful about the words you speak to yourself as well make sure you're telling yourself positive things about how strong and powerful you truly are um, and also how beautiful and, and, and gorgeous you are as well because I'm being drawn to these two birds there it's just a very beautiful card so you do have real beautiful energy that is very attractive and a lot of people enjoy being around your energy as well here with this dolphin spirit so don't forget that that's a message that really wants to come through here strongly um with this blue dragon here from the Pleiades, prepares you to accept source healing. There's definitely a healing that's taking place right now, okay? And there's a healing that has been taking place. So it's just letting yourself be open to receiving that, okay? Um, and you can do this anytime, just when you're going to sleep, just like you know, open yourself up to your angels and spirit guides and just say, you know, I accept any healing that I need um, to receive right now for my highest good. That's a message that's coming through there. Um, yeah, so it's giving and receiving that's coming through strongly here with this Six of Autumn and in this card here as well. Um, so I do feel like you're someone who is strongly gives to other people. You are very generous, which is coming through here with this dear spirit. You are someone who is very generous, very kind, whether it's with your time, your energy, your resources, your money, um, your your wisdom, your advice, your, your fun, you know, whatever it is, you are someone who does give a lot to other people. So expect to be rewarded with that right now and be open to receiving that and act with fortitude and cooperation here. Again, opening yourself up to connection let people help you as well as a message that's coming through you don't have to do everything by yourself okay you are someone who is very unique you don't follow the crowd that is something that's very um very amazing and beautiful about you so keep being that way just keep being yourself i'm being told to tell you you don't need to do everything the way that everybody else does it okay it's okay to be your you your beautiful unique self you don't need to follow the crowd and um, follow your intuition even if other people are going in the opposite direction you don't need to follow them if it's not what your intuition is telling you that is a strong message coming through there for you okay um <clears throat> let's get uh, another message for you for some advice can we get some advice please for pile one we get some advice please for pile one thank you oh we have beetle and purity okay so we can see here that this, this beetle is very colorful very beautiful um and the beetle has a very hard outer shell as well. So I feel like you definitely have strong boundaries that you have put up. And I do feel like um, you have very much needed to put up those boundaries. Um, and that is something, you know, that is, um, has protected you for some time. But it's open to, it's good, it's, it's important to open yourself up to um, letting some more energies um, come through here. Your boundaries have served you well, but they're not supposed to be in place forever. That is a message that's coming through. Um, can we have another message? One more, thank you. We have the Jibiru um, animal coming through here, and that says foundation. So yeah, there's you, your foundation is, is is being um i'm hearing solidified okay you are doing really well at building a foundation for yourself 
Um, you don't have to worry if you're worried about security and stability, whether it's finances or something to do with your home life, um, could even be relationships, marriages as well. Um, your foundation is strong um, and I do feel like there's going to be some sort of unexpected surprise coming through in that area, a gift of some sort coming through here to solidify this foundation even more. Um, but you are an incredible pure um, pure soul and you're being asked to retain that purity within you um, you know you don't have to be like everyone else um, it's okay to be unique is a really interesting message coming through here um, we've got the wagtail essence yeah just keep tuned in with your beautiful essence that you have within you um, you just have um, a gorgeous purity um, and beautiful essence around you um, but yeah your intuition is is incredibly strong so remember to listen to that I do really hope that this reading has brought you some guidance and clarity today pile one thank you so much for tuning in and for blessing me with your wonderful energy please give this reading a big thumbs up it truly helps out the channel also hit subscribe if you haven't already we would love to have you join this beautiful growing community and family here thank you so much for your time and energy and we hope to see you in our next reading take care of your lovely selves bye hi pile two welcome to your reading if you selected this small but very powerful red jasper dolphin crystal this is your reading today for messages from the animals and the animal world so we will be bringing through and channeling messages from the animals today messages that are very wise um more than likely profound as well um pile one was was very profound and such a beautiful reading um so i've no doubt that it will be the same for this one um i also have selected some oracle cards for you already off camera which we will be diving into and going in with the tarot cards as well and then bringing more through some more messages with the oracle cards towards the end of your reading pile too but i'm just sitting here now with this crystal just connecting to your energy and um i know this is a dolphin which is an animal that is obviously connected to the sea um you can also find dolphins um, in some rivers as well, which is interesting. Um, I was looking up about dolphins before and I actually didn't know that. Dolphins have always been um, a strong animal that I've been connected to, but I, I never knew about the rivers, which is interesting. But you can find them in um, every ocean on earth. So um, they are very, um, very much apparent. Um, but yeah, even though they are water creatures, I do get a strong kind of like earthy feeling from you um, as as a soul and I'm, I'm hearing old soul as well so I feel like yeah you are very very old souls I feel like you've got a lot of wisdom and intellect within you I feel like you are um, someone who is very wise very intelligent um, yeah I feel like there's a lot that goes on in your mind as well um, but it's like you're, you're good at balancing this with your fun side as well. I feel like um, because you are so intelligent and wise, you might have been like underestimated in your life or um, misjudged um, thinking that you might be someone who's quite serious. And although you may appear serious on the outside for some of you, um, inside you're very much a very fun character um, and, you know, like to enjoy, enjoy the little things is something that I'm hearing. Um, the dolphin um, animal can talk about teamwork as well. You're someone who is very friendly to people. People see you as someone who is very friendly um, and, um, yeah that's a strong message coming through the, the dolphin can also talk about transformation as well and psychic abilities but it's really interesting that um 
when I was doing pile one, um, the Dolphin Spirit card did come out straight away. So if you were called between pile one and pile two, or you were part of you was thinking, oh, pile one, you might want to go back there after this message and listen to that pile as well, because there may be some more messages there for you. Um, but we're going to start here with your overall energy with this card to find out what energies um, surround you currently. And oh, we do have the dragonfly spirit there. And that says magic spontaneity. Uh, immediacy and change yeah I was definitely getting that energy of spontaneity coming through with your energy here with this crystal um, I do feel like you're prone to being spontaneous um, and it's interesting if you see these colors are very similar you've got a lot of deep reds going on here like deep earthy colors coming through um, I just want to say um, this was coming through strongly before you may have I'm getting strong like earth placements um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus or fire placements as well Aries Leo Sagittarius um, so you may have those placements strongly within your chart you don't have to but that's just an energy that is coming through here really strongly so there's an energy of magic around you that surrounds you right now um, there's an energy of um, being free, you know, because the dragonfly kind of like flies wherever it wants to go and it, you know, it can like hover as well in places as well. Um, so I do feel like you might go from one thing to the next quite a lot. Um, I do feel like you've got a lot going on in your life, quite busy, uh, multiple things that you're trying to achieve and get um, ticked off your bucket list, I'm hearing. Um, I do feel like you're someone who does strongly try to live for the moment in in some areas of your life but then you also have a strong need and um connection with stability as well as something i'm hearing um being rooted as well as being free there's kind of that both of those almost they're contradictory energies but they are they are coming through here strongly um there's something that you might be working towards that you feel like you have to push through and get it done really quickly um some sort of haste here doing something with, with haste um trying to get something finished i'm hearing for some of you get something over with over and done with um so there might be something you're having to deal with that you just want it over and done with also there might be a goal and project that you're really trying to hit a certain target with um this could be within your working life it could be a personal goal as well to do with you know fitness or something like that um but there's something you're working really strongly towards that you know you really want to achieve that's something that's strongly coming through here but there is change on the cards there are things that are changing within your life within yourself as well but let's get through with start with the tarot first to bring through some messages here um, I did just cut the deck to the Empress there um, so yeah leaping into action time to leap into action well it says hop into action actually use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success yeah so there's something you're being called towards there's something you are um, birthing into the world for some of you you know this could could be literally you know you are becoming a parent um, or you are you know trying to become a parent you are trying to for some of you even you know get a new pet um, if you do not resonate with children um, but also other than that there's something that you are birthing in trying to bring into your reality um, something you are creating um, which I'm hearing is going to be very fruitful for you it's going to be um, life changing is a word that's coming through um, what messages do we have for um, pile two please what do they need to hear We have the Hermit card coming through there. Messages from the animals, please. Thank you. We have the Seven of Summer coming through there. We have the Ten of Autumn. Beautiful. And we have, we have the Princess of Summer there. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the five of spring and that's the ram animal that is coming through here. 
that says occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimise the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. Okay, this is interesting. Right, okay, so let's get into this. We have here the hermit card to start off your energy here and they're drawing me to that butterfly there so there's definitely some transformation you have been doing here um a, with an energy of withdrawing withdrawing and this says take your time for contemplation to retreat and go within be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment yeah, do you remember me saying about psychic insights and psychic gifts with the dolphin spirit there? Um, again, this message did come through in pile one. So if you were drawn to that pile, go and check that out if you feel called to at the end of this reading. But um, you are definitely someone who does have a lot of wisdom within you. You're being asked to go within yourself and consult your intuition about something at this time. I feel like there's something that is really tugging at your intuition um, that you might be ignoring or life just might be a bit too busy and um, you're not being able to see it right now. Um, but there's something here that is calling your attention. There's something here that is asking for your attention. Um, I do feel like you've been seeing signs and synchronicities because we can see here with these fireflies, they're just like dotted around. Um, there's something that's trying to get your attention. So you may have been seeing um, messages from your spirit team scrolling through social media and just seeing the same message from different sources. Um, and also possible repeating numbers, angel numbers, things like that. Do your research if you keep seeing a number and if you feel intuitively like it might be a message for you, just Google the image, Google the number and see um, what the messages are there for you and see if it resonates for you. You will know if it's a message for you because it will resonate with you and your situation. So don't second guess it. Um, there's something that you need to contemplate a bit on. Um, it's like if you are trying, you know, to, because we were getting here with this dragonfly energy of, you know, having a lot of things to get done and rushing towards something. You're being asked to pull back a little bit and just take your time over something. And really, I'm hearing decide if it's something that you truly want is a message that's coming through. Um, there may be something better for you or a better direction or way for you to go in. Or there might be something that you're missing, okay? So just take that how it resonates for you and your situation. We then do have the Seven of Summer coming through here with the Maine Coon Kitten. Look how pretty they are. <laughs> um, I'm a cat lover. <laughs> but we do have cats and dogs here, which is so interesting. Um, so, you know, you may be... Um, we definitely have strong cat lovers and strong dog lovers on this pile. Um, so, yeah, that's really interesting. Um... So it says here, it's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward with a priority. If you need to do more research, then do so, but don't overthink the situation, listen to your heart. Exactly, yeah, don't overthink your heart. Don't overthink your intuition about something here. Um, the, yeah, there's definitely something, there's something that you're wanting to move forward towards, but it's almost like, yeah, it was this energy that I was picking up on at the beginning. It's like there's something that you might not be wanting to deal or confront or face right now. Um, interesting. But it's like... Yeah, there's this, you definitely need to be prioritising things within your life. I do feel like you do have strongly have a lot of things going on and you're being asked to focus on one thing at a time or really focus on your main thing, just one main thing that you want to achieve and that you want to aim for and just come back to yourself, have a moment to tap into your heart and to tap into your intuition and then move forward with an inner knowing that, you know, puts you towards the outcome that you are wanting to achieve because if we do have too much going on and we're juggling too much I'm getting like the two of pentacles energy coming through like juggling through juggling too much you know we're getting lots of things done but we're not necessarily completing all of the things we want to get done and not only that but we might not be completing it to the best of our ability and to the highest of our standards that we know that we can achieve um 
So yeah, don't overthink anything. Um, you're being called to really tap into your intuition here. And we then do have the 10 of autumn, the golden retriever dog is coming through here. Um, some of you might have a golden retriever or you might have a Maine Coon. Um, but yeah, they're, they're energies that are coming through strongly here. And um, it says here, contentment comes from knowing that your finances are secure and your family's material needs are taken care of. It's important to honor traditions and have pride in your heritage and the accomplishments of your ancestors. Okay, that's a really interesting message coming through here. Um, but it's, yeah, again, it's really interesting how I was saying you have this energy of being free and flighty, but then you also have this strong need to be grounded and have security uh, within your home life and your stability um, and providing for yourself and for your family and loved ones and this is definitely coming through here with the ten of autumn you don't need to be worrying about that and to remember me seeing the empress before at the beginning of your reading that you're creating something you're birthing something you're bringing something into this world and me saying that it is going to be very fruitful for you and it is going to bring a lot of stability this is confirmation here with the ten of autumn also known as the ten of pentacles which is um you know the best financial card to receive in the tarot it talks of um strong financial success and stability and it does also talk about you know being able to provide not only for your family but for um your your fam your future family your family's family and like building almost like a legacy um some sort of uh, wealth generational wealth within your future generations as well um and it's almost like um there's something that your ancestors did, there's something that your ancestors worked on and were um, had a strong talent or skill in that you are being called up to take the bat on. I'm seeing like a relay race where a runner runs to another runner who passes the bat on and then that runner runs on. I'm getting that energy come through here. There's something that you're needing to carry forward, something you're needing to carry on here. Um, you may have been receiving messages um, intuitively. Um, these are messages from your ancestors calling out to you, you know, really trying to guide you and steer you. Some of you may strongly work with your ancestors as well. And that's just confirmation here that you are on the right path for you. Um, which is really beautiful. We then do have, we then have here the Princess of Summer and we have Dia, which is, <laughs> which is so interesting um, because you remember me saying about how Pile One, which was the Dia, the crystal, uh, the fluorite Dia crystal, they had the dolphin that came through for their energy. And now with the dolphin pile, you have the deer energy coming through. So it's like these two definitely do feel linked in some way here, which is, is really interesting. Um, but this card here says kind, sensitive, open-hearted and inexperienced. You can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship, you may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. Um, yeah, this strongly does link up with pile one. I know I keep saying it, but it's just, it, it does it does link up. It almost feels a bit like a continuation or just like the, the two readings are just kind of like met, merging together with each other, which is really interesting. Um, but yeah, there's a new connection coming through here for you. Um, so if you have been feeling a bit down and out, a bit down in the dumps, or like wanting to give up on connections, whether it's romantic, um, whether it's friendship, um, could even be like a business partner for some of you. Uh, maybe you're wanting to for someone to come in and help you with your business, like possibly even a mentor or something like that. Um, that is definitely coming through for you. Um, and rekindling old connections as well. I feel like you're going to get a message from someone from the past here coming through for you. Um, someone I feel is really thinking about you here with all this water and emotions. I feel like someone is definitely in their feels, in their emotions about you. Can I just get a card on this? We have balance, which is the temperance card here. Uh, by merging varying points of view, you can generate an extraordinary new idea. Compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. Okay, so this person is very much a good match for you. Um, there's someone who brings balance back into your life, um, who is kind of like your yin to your yang. It's like um, you are very similar. 
um, but also very different, but also flow with each other, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that is that is a, a connection that is coming through for you or is returning to you. Um, yeah, really interesting. Okay, let's pop that back in there. We do have the High Priestess there as well, so I feel like you do have a strong intuition about who this person could be. So just listen to that. But let's get into your Oracle cards here, see what other messages want to come through. Actually, they're just bringing me back to this Five of Spring here with this Ram energy before I uh, continue. Um, yeah, so it's saying here that, you know, there may be some sort of clashes with um, energies or people or 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 people, places, things around you, okay, that is coming up. Um, it says, if you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So just be mindful about other energies around you that um, might be... Um, might be not agreeing with your choice and your direction. Now, this could come from family with the Ten of Autumn here. Um, it could come from family members. Um, so it's like doing what you can to, to minimize the conflict. If this is a relationship that is very important to you or a connection that is very important to you, um, try not to react um, too fiery. Try to react from a more grounded um, a more grounded energy um, to minimize this conflict. But ultimately, don't let anyone push down your goals or your beliefs. You know, you are here to live your life. You are here to um, do you. And, you know, you shouldn't listen to other people who are trying to control you or tell you that you shouldn't be doing something or you, you shouldn't be going in that direction or that is a bad choice. Listen to your intuition at every point um, and just do what your heart calls you to do, okay? Um, we do have the turtle spirit coming through here. Slow and steady wins the race, yeah. That makes sense. We then have the fox spirit. Think on your feet. We have simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Okay. We have the green dragon. Helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature. Align with your divine essence. Yeah. Okay. And we also have the bear coming through here. Use power with wisdom. Okay. Beautiful. Right. Okay. So we have here another message here from this turtle spirit about... Um, just taking your time on things. Don't feel like you have to rush ahead so much with everything to to get a goal or job completed. Um, obviously, the day-to-day -day chores, you know, we can you just go around and get those done. But this is talking about uh, more in-depth and more, um, more, you know, deeper um, goals and things that you are working on towards you know i'm strongly getting foundations to do with your home stability to do with your finances family things like that is a real strong energy coming through here also trying to plan things for your future as well um slow and steady wins the race okay so remember that your life is not a sprint your life is a marathon you know you are here you know for the long haul to um you know really kind of like bring your ideas and goals to fruition and we don't have to do everything overnight okay so just take things slowly don't overwhelm yourself because you might end up tripping and falling over um and that's not what you want you want it to go as smoothly as possible so always listen to your intuition and prioritize the things within your life is something that's coming through very strongly here we do have the fox spirit, think on your feet. So I do think there's, and we have that underneath the seven of cups here, the seven of summer, which can talk about choices. So I do feel like there's a choice coming up that you're going to have to make. And um, although you are being asked in, in the grand scheme of things to take things slow, I do feel like this decision you might have to um, 
be more spontaneous with your answer you might have to be more quick with your answer it might be an opportunity that might not be around for too long so real really tap into your intuition now before this decision comes along before this um opportunity opens up um really go within yourself and find out what your priorities are so that when this choice comes up when this opportunity or when this opening comes up you know whether it's for you or not and you can make that decision pretty much on the spot and it be the right decision for you so you won't be thinking oh I, I you know I've not got much time I don't know what to do for the best and then you're getting yourself in a confusion and you're getting yourself in a muddle and you know you're worried about whether you're making the right decision and then you're going to be overthinking it so really tune in before this happens and you know decide within yourself what you want to do and where you want to go and you know what paths you want to take in your life and this includes career it includes relationships it includes just your soul calling here because um we do have here uh, receive answers and guidance from nature align with your divine essence so there's a divine calling that's coming up for you and I do feel like you're already on the path to that but I do feel like for some of you things are getting in the way of that um, and just life in general and the demands of things the demands of family life the demands of just living you know paying bills etc um, it might be getting in the way of your divine calling here and it's remembering who you are on a soul level remember me saying that you are a very deep soul there's definitely a soul calling here that your ancestors were um were a part of but also were not able to completely fulfill so for whatever reason you're being passed that baton and you're the one in your your lineage um, in your family line who is going to be able to move forward with this and is going to be able to follow this calling to follow this divine essence and divine um, divine calling here um, so yeah it's it's getting in tune with that um, they're drawing me here to this key it's like you have the key to something and I feel like the door is going to appear very soon yeah, the door is going to appear soon and you have the key. I'm hearing you are the key, okay? Which is a very interesting message. And they're drawing me again to these trees and this green. You are um, someone who is very grounded. There's a lot of green, greeny, like teal colours going on here. Yeah, you're someone who's very grounded and you are very powerful here with the bear spirit. So it's using this power with wisdom, okay? Making sure that you are putting your power into the right areas in life um, and using your power wisely, okay? I'm hearing not wasting your power on unnecessary things and unnecessary people, Um any distractions that are unnecessary um tuning in with your heart space you are very connected to the cosmos you are very connected to the astral um i feel like you have a lot of divine downloads um a lot of activation in your crown chakra is coming through uh, your crown chakra and heart chakra are very active okay Ooh, that wanted to come through we've got here cardinal passion and we've got eagle strength yeah you are incredibly strong and we have two birds coming through here which is very interesting both of these animals are birds that are coming through um and here they're drawing me to the root chakra remember me saying you are very grounded yeah you are very grounded and it's really um following the passions of your soul following the callings of your soul um you have such strength within you i'm also hearing integrity as well is a strong message that is coming through for you um which is really interesting um but it's remembering this strength and using this strength wisely, following your passions as well. What is it that lights up your soul? We do have intuition on the bottom of the deck here, which does come through here with the Hermit card and has also come through in your reading as well. So follow your intuition. Where is your intuition leading you? Where is it calling you? Um, 
you are definitely receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of divine downloads and guidance now coming through from your crown. Um, and it's remembering, making sure that you do stay grounded as well, because I do feel like you are strongly linked spiritually um, to the to spirituality, to the spiritual realm. So making sure that you are grounded and not forgetting to ground yourself is, is really important. Um, but this has been such a beautiful reading pile too. I really hope that this has brought you some guidance and some clarity today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching. Please give this reading a big thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel. Also hit subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you join this beautiful growing family and community. Thank you for your beautiful energy and time. Hopefully see you in our next reading. Take care of your lovely selves. Bye. Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading. If you chose this magnificent black onyx crow, this is your reading today for messages from the animals and from the animal world. Um, as I just picked up this crow crystal here, I just heard the word majestic. <laughs> There's something very majestic and royal um, royal like about you pile three which is which is really lovely um i have already shuffled and pulled some oracle cards for you off camera pile three we do have the animal tarot that we will be diving into also and some more oracle cards towards the end of your reading today um i do have first this card that i have pulled to get your overall energy so we will be discovering this one first but as i am just tapping in to your energy and as I was um, tapping into your energy before I started this reading I was um, picking up on some like channeled messages and energies for you um, so I just got immediately um, hit with this feeling of release so I heard the word release so I feel like um, I feel like you are going through a release of some sort you are releasing something or um, something is coming to an end or it may have done recently something um, that this could be something within your life you know work love life whatever it is for you a situation a job even um, a thought pattern a way of thinking um, I'm hearing um, some sort of addiction possibly as well for some of you that won't resonate for everyone something that is maybe unhealthy that you're releasing um, there's just this energy of release of letting something go of walking away from something a transition into something new and um, having said all that I'm picking up on a little bit of ang anxious energy like an anxiety so some of you might be feeling a little anxious about this transition or this letting go of something um, it might be a little bit of um, kind of like a jumping into the unknown kind of energy I'm feeling like you know that this needs to be let go of you know you need to move away from this walk away from this but it's like there's an energy of anxiousness about that like worry um, uncertainty um, I also um, felt this energy of stepping into power as well. So you're definitely stepping into your power, um, realizing your truths and wherever it is that you want to be, realizing things and really stepping up and into your power. I'm also seeing um, someone watching something um, and I heard the phrase eyes on the prize. So I feel like you've got your eyes on something, you're watching something and I also heard the word judging as well. So it's like you're watching something and just judging it from the sidelines, seeing how something is going to go and I'm now seeing the scales so like weighing up some sort of options I also feel like there's some there might be someone that's watching you at the moment very closely um, and I'm getting strong um, this could be in two areas one is career so I feel like you've got some sort of um, higher um, person of responsibility watching you this could be a boss but I feel like it's in a good way I feel like it's they're observing you for a possible promotion possible um level up um also pay rise as well as coming through um and this could also be someone watching you in the area of love as well I feel like someone is um 
very attracted to you right now and they're just observing you and wanting to know how to approach you um, and I, um, I was also getting psychic knowing and visions so I feel like strong Claire um, strong clear cognizance this this energy of knowing things without understanding how you're knowing and also clairvoyance as well so I feel like there's an activation within those psychic gifts for you pile three um, but as I was researching as well the symbolism of crows crows can talk about transformation they can talk about fearlessness they can talk about adaptability and also mystery so I feel like you are someone who is very good at adapting to things and you just have this uh, this kind of essence of mystery around you but let's get into your cards and see what the energy is that strongly surrounds you right now pile three we do have oh we have the salmon card um, number five which is interesting that talks about change so yeah definitely that makes sense with this um, transformation energy that I was picking up on um, this letting something go and moving on to something new um, and the salmon says faith determination independence and change yes exactly that makes sense for the number five there um, yeah there's something changing here and I feel like I feel like this is definitely going to be a positive change for you. There's change in the air, there's change around you, a strong energy of change. Um, and I feel like you have been determined at something as well because the salmon is a fish that swims upstream. So it swims against the current, which obviously is not easy to do. So you are someone who has um, a strong determination, someone who is not scared or afraid of putting in hard work and hard graft and I do feel like you feel like you might have been swimming upstream a lot you know having a lot of resistance um, within um, within your life um, maybe things have not been coming to fruition as fast as you might like things might have been taking their sweet time um, but you have been holding faith and that is serving you well is what I'm hearing um, keeping this faith is going to really pay off for you um, I feel like the harder you swim the harder you push the bigger the reward um, which is a really beautiful message coming through there but let's get into the tarot to start your reading and let's pull some cards and see what messages the animals have for you and what they want to bring through I will say that so far the first couple of piles have been very powerful very powerful profound messages indeed so I'm sure that this reading is going to be the same um animals what do we have what messages and guidance do we have for pile three what do they need to know and what do they need to hear at this time what do they need to know thank you we have the five of winter also known as the Five of Swords. What do they need to know, please? Thank you. These cards are leaping out, which is really interesting because we can see here that the salmon is leaping out of the water and salmons do leap out of the water. They leap out of the stream. Um, we have the Eight of Spring. Okay, beautiful. What other messages do we have? pile three thank you thank you we have the prince of autumn and we have unity okay bottom of the deck we have the emperor wow so you're really stepping into your power was that a message that i um received let me just look at my notes yeah stepping into your power exactly that's exactly what the energy that i was channeling for you um, and that i mentioned at the beginning yeah you're stepping into your power here um this animal that's coming through here is the deer mouse and that says structure and organization are important right now don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer yeah do you remember me saying about how um you're being watched and i feel like this might be from a boss like for a promotion or something i feel like a lot of you are getting some sort of promotion some sort of step up within your career life um 
So be ready and open for that change because it's going to be really powerful and beneficial for you. Um, we have the five of winter here. The collie dog is coming through. Um, so you may have a dog, you may have a collie dog in particular, um, or a ginger and white dog or a black and white dog. Um, and this dog, this card says, your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome. So why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others, okay? So yeah, there's definitely um, a strong message here coming through that something needs to change. There's something in your life that is not serving you at this present time. And I'm also feeling a strong energies of other people as well who may be getting involved. The Five of Winter, also known as the Five of Swords, can talk about disagreement and conflicts okay so there may be energies around you that are um causing you hassle i'm hearing the word hassle um just kind of like um trying to cause conflict and um disrupting your peace is a phrase that i'm hearing as well um and it's like you're being asked today to make a change within that and you know release what does not serve you um really assess these relationships and um you know do you truly need them and are they the be are they the best for you are they really going to service your highest good and are they really going to support your highest timeline is what i'm hearing um yeah, there's something I feel that needs to be let go of within some people or this could even be family as well, unfortunately, or it could be a job. Um, it could be a person, a colleague at a job. Just take it how it resonates for you and your personal situation. But it's like there's something blocking this this beautiful transformation coming through here and uh, you're being asked to remember who you are here with this emperor card you are someone who is very strong and very capable um, and um, very determined and it's almost like all the hard work you are putting in um, you really deserve for it to pay off and so um, sometimes when we are really working hard and pushing. I'm just speaking from my own perspective here. They're asking me to give my own um, input. Um, and it feels like there's a blockage. It feels like no matter how hard you're swimming upstream, it, it's not hitting, like it's not breaking. Um, you're not able to burst through that barrier. Um, and sometimes it can be a person around you that is holding you back, okay? Um, it's like once we realize that this is not, this personal situation is not good for us and we let it go, it gives us room to breathe. Sometimes we can be um, smothered by other energies around us um, and we're being asked to, you know, let ourselves open up and to breathe and release that so that the floodgates can open is what I'm hearing and so that that blockage can be removed. We have the eight of spring here. Something really wants to move forward. There's definitely an energy here that once you release that, you are going to the, the literally the the barricade will burst open it's like the dam when the dam releases and the water gushes out this is what is going to happen for you it's like once this thing or this person is released this relationship this connection this situation is um you know let go of and once you step into your power boom that's it the floodgates open and you are off and you are sprinting forward into your goals into your dreams and into your wishes we have here the bee spirit coming through and again the bee is a very hard worker the bee can talk about hard work and perseverance and this says you've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once whilst this may feel very stressful remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you yeah you have so many blessings and opportunities coming coming your way um which is really beautiful to see um so try not to get too overwhelmed with that it's almost like there's this anxiety of when is it going to happen when am i going to make it um but then it's like all of a sudden the floodgates open and you've made it and it's almost like oh my gosh like how am i going to manage how am i going to cope with all this i'm hearing um 
fully booked. So I feel like if you are self-employed, if you are freelance or anything like that, if you have your own side business, if you give some sort of um, service to others, you are going to be fully booked. All of a sudden, people are going to be coming from everywhere to book you, to book your services, to buy your products. And it's going to be like, how am I going to cope with this? Um, but you can do it, okay? Um, make sure that you've got structure in place. That is really important. Um, we then have Prince of Autumn. That says trustworthy, dedicated, protective, and funny. And this is the seahorse coming through for you here. And that says it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. This is beautiful. I just love how your reading is just flowing so perfectly. Yeah, there's definitely, um, we well, see here these coins. So there's, there's definitely a solid start here. There's something that you are working on that is being birthed, that is being, um, that is going to come through for you, that is going to be very financially successful, very financially lucrative, okay? I see that you have sown some seeds and those seeds are starting to bloom now and they are starting to sprout and things are going to start paying off um, once you've released your whatever's blocking you and standing in your way and once you step into your power and you declare that you deserve this and that you are capable of this, um, Things are gonna open up to you um, in a, a big time, okay? This is a hugely powerful reading coming through. Um, so yeah, make sure that you do have a plan in place. Make sure that you, uh, I'm hearing business plan, um, five year plan, you know, get, get a journal, get a pen and paper, whatever, even on your phone in the notes document, just type up a plan of what you want and how you want to structure it and um, schedule some time in a diary to, you know, to put time aside to do this, you know, just things need to be a bit more structured and that is going to help you when things really pick up pace here, when the dam opens and the floodgates open, it's going to help you to feel less overwhelmed and it's going to help you to be able to manage, you know, all this popular popularity and um, all this success that you're going to be achieving. We then have unity again, another number five coming through. Change is a huge um, theme for you, a huge energy for you. And we have the polar bear spirit there. Um, and that, this says, embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path yeah so for some of you this um this world that is opening up for you could be to do within the spiritual world some sort of spiritual business um doesn't have to be but you're definitely being called to step up here with the emperor card and the the unity card here which is also known as the hierophant card in the tarot um you're being called to step up and be you know really step into your leadership power you're meant to be a leader you're meant to guide people um you're meant to be that beacon of light for others to come to to you know as ask for assistance you know um i feel like you're really you're good at giving assistance to other people, giving guidance to other people. And it's really interesting how I was picking up with the psychic gifts coming through at the beginning, the clairvoyance and the claircognizance. There's definitely a strong spiritual transformation that is occurring. Now, I feel like you've already had spiritual transformations in your life. I feel like you are very spiritual people, but there's going to be even more transformations coming through in the future. Um, and, um, yeah, really interesting, lovely energy coming through here. I'm really loving this. Let's get into your oracle cards, see what other messages want to come through. Wow, no way, we have the crow spirit. <laughs> we have the crow spirit and that says co-create with spirit. This is really interesting because um, with pile one, which was the deer, the deer crystal, we got the dolphin card come through. And then for the pile two, which was the dolphin crystal, we got the deer card come through. But with pile, with your pile, pile three, we have your own crystal coming through here. The crow spirit is coming through twice. Co-create with spirit. Um, I do apologize, the sun has just come out. So this table has blown up. I'm really sorry. Um, the sun should go back through in a moment if you are 
struggling to see this I do apologize um, I do use natural lighting which can be a bit of a pain sometimes unfortunately um, hopefully the Sun is going to go in in a moment because it is very bright so I do apologize we then have the elephant card come through that says open yourself to true abundance archangels Mary and Raphael coming through for you here Ooh, we also have badger spirits be fearless and bold yes exactly that makes all the sense all the sense we then have make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision okay this might be what this anxiety was that i was picking up on at the beginning um, we then have the earth and water dragon creates the foundation for new growth wow a fresh start is coming with new opportunities nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance oh my gosh i just love how this reading is just synchronized um wow this is incredible um i'm just so excited for you okay so crow spirit co-create with spirit and then we have the hierophant card yeah you are incredibly spiritually tapped in incredibly spiritually gifted and connected as well as what i am hearing um spirit really wants you to make sure that you are um you know asking for help along the way and when i say spirit i mean your spirit guides your spirit team and um, your ancestors as well are included in that angels um anything that you resonate with this can also be the universe as well so anything that you resonate with um you're being asked to um really work alongside spirit and alongside your spirit team because they want to help you really step into your power i feel like you are you are really on your way to your soul's purpose and the reason why you are here in this incarnation um and you're being really asked today to step up be fearless and be bold and this is the energy of the emperor so really stepping into this this inner power again this knowing that you are powerful this knowing that you are meant to lead you are meant for more you are meant to um yeah be a beacon for others um yeah and it's the it's this the fact that this is underneath the eight of spring as well the eight of wands and it's like this movement that's going to happen for you um it's really going to put you in a position of power as well so um just know that you are ready for that when it happens just know that you are ready and with the elephant here open yourself to true true abundance it's like knowing that you deserve this as well knowing that you deserve all this abundance this power and um, I'm hearing popularity as well that is going to come through to you um, there is a decision that you are having to make or that you will have to make and um, you are being asked to listen to your intuition you have strong intuition here like i said you are very connected to spirit and um yeah you will know deep down what the right thing is to do so trust yourself and trust your inner knowing and if you are really 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 stuck don't forget to call on your spirit team and ask for assistance um, ask them to help you ask them to help guide you um, i'm hearing messages through dreams as well will be really powerful for you so make sure you are listening to your dreams and taking any notes of symbolism at this time um we then have the earth and water dragon here which does talk again of this fresh start coming with all these bright new abundant opportunities like i said i was saying about that you have already sown your seeds and they are starting they are starting to bloom it says here nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance you are ready to harvest um, the harvest is coming okay um, and you are ready for this so it's really stepping into your power you may have strong earth and water placements in your chart is it just another confirmation or side note message there but you don't have to um, 
yeah there's a new fresh start coming which is so beautiful to hear i'm really super excited for you and it's remembering that you are worthy of these new beginnings coming to you and this new beginning i've just pulled this other oracle deck out and at the bottom of the deck we have intuition there so that's just another confirmation there for you to listen to your intuition but let's get some advice for you and see what advice the animals have for you and your situation what advice do we have for pile three thank you We have here the chameleon coming through and that says energy okay so you are um being asked to be mindful of your energy here being mindful of who you are giving your energy to and what you are giving your energy to i'm being told to tell you that your energy is sacred okay um that's really important to know it's really important to respect your energy um because when we respect our energy and we put up the the right boundaries with um, people, places, things in our life, the universe can see that we respect ourselves and we are rewarded for that. Um, with the chameleon here, the chameleon is is an animal that, you know, changes their skin and their colours depending on their environment as well. So I do feel like you are strongly adaptable um, and you are capable of adapting to whatever is thrown at you. Um, so just remember that if you find yourself in challenging moments or challenging times, remember that you are capable to adapt to whatever situation is thrown at you and um, protect your energy and protect your peace. And they're bringing me back to that five of winter, you know, the five of swords that we were talking about with maybe potential energies and people trying to disrupt your peace here. They might, you might have some energy vampires around you or an energy vampire, something that is just sucking your energy and um, it's really not serving you. So that is a strong message coming through today that that needs to be changed. Um, you need to take back your power from that. Um, we then have the elephant spirit coming through here. Um, compassion. So have compassion for yourself. Um, the elephant is such a beautiful creature, such a beautiful animal, so strong but so loyal, so compassionate and so caring um, and that is definitely an essence that of you and your soul that you are being asked to embrace. Have compassion with yourself, okay? Um, you have come so far and you are doing incredibly well so go easy on yourself through this transition, okay? Um, yeah, and just remember remember who you are as well. I feel like um, the universe is having some compassion for you as well for things that you have had to go through, I'm hearing as well, which is such a beautiful message. Wow, this has been an absolutely gorgeous reading, Pile 3. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I just want to thank um, all the animals that have come through today to bring these gorgeous messages through for you. I really hope that you have found some guidance here and found, found some clarity um, for your your situation and your journey ahead. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please give this reading a big thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel. Also hit subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you as a part of this beautiful, growing family and community. Take care of your lovely selves and we'll see you in our next reading. Bye. Hi Pile 4, welcome to your reading if you selected this absolutely beautiful Fancy Lace Agate Cat. This is your reading today. For messages from the animals and animal world, firstly I just want to apologise if this lighting has gone really dark, if you watched the other piles they were quite bright. Um, I do use natural lighting for my readings and the sun has decided to come out and shine right down on here causing a lot of shadow so I've just had to close the blind there so I do apologise but I did find it quite ironic and funny because obviously cats can see in the dark so... <laughs> If the reading is in darkness or, you know, slightly shadowed, um, it's okay because we've got the cat spirit coming through here. <laughs> um, I just thought, thought that was a funny side note. Anyway, um, 
Pile four, the, um, just to give you a bit of info about the cat and the symbolism of cats. So cats do talk about rebirth and resurrection. Um, there's also that saying that cats have nine lives as well. As well. So it's almost like this essence of um, you, get, you get knocked down, but you just get straight back up again. It's like no one can take you down because you just have life after life after life, you know? Um, it's almost like you are that boss that no one can defeat. Um, in the in the video game um it's like you just keep coming back with more and every time you come back you just keep coming back bigger and stronger and it takes more and more to defeat you and knock you down um so that is a really interesting image that's coming through here um they are also very curious and they uh, they exude this energy of elegance as well and they are also very independent as well so that's really interesting you may resonate with those energies within your personality yourself but um, as I was tapping into your energy pile for uh, I was channeling through some messages and some energies for you and um, I was really feeling that for you there is some sort of healing that is taking place um, within you um, which is really interesting. So this could be um, an energetic healing, but it could also be a physical healing as well. So if you are in need of any healing, there's definitely something happening here behind the scenes. Um, something that is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being shown like um, a bruise that is just fading, you know, it's healing and it's getting better, okay? Um, so I was also feeling this energy of um, needing to be light on your feet and I heard the phrase jumping hurdles. So you may have been jumping a lot of hurdles recently. You may have had one kind of hurdle after another and it's like you've really been having to hop around and hop over and you know, a lot going on um, and having to overcome a lot um, was an energy that was coming through. Um, I was also feeling a strong need for some self-care. So you may have been neglecting yourself a little bit recently, which, you know, no judgment, we all do it. Life is busy, you know, things happen and we just forget about ourselves sometimes. But there's a strong need of you being asked and called back to yourself to give yourself some self-care to focus on yourself whether it's just a day or a few hours in the evening um, take that bath sit there read a book um, watch your favorite tv show listen to some relaxing music do some meditation um, practice your crafts whatever that is for you i'm being shown someone knitting um um, you know, do something for yourself, whatever is self-care for you, whether it could be gardening, you know, planting plants, herbs is something I'm being shown. Whatever it is for you, just do something that is just for yourself. Um, I'm, I was also told get more sleep as well. So I feel like you definitely need more sleep. I feel like you might be quite tired or um, burning the candle at both ends in some areas of your life. And I was also told as well as I was channeling your energy, um, you are someone who does a lot of work in the astral realm. You know, you are someone who is very busy when you are asleep at night. So you may find that you wake up and you don't feel like you've been to sleep, like you don't feel super well rested all of the time. And that's because you are doing a lot of work in the astral realm. You are very active over there. Um, in the astral plane. So that is a, an interesting message coming through there. Um, I know that's gonna be a confirmation for some of you. Um, I have pulled some oracle cards for you off camera already. We will be ta diving in with the animal tarot as well to bring through messages and guidance for you currently and also finishing off your reading with some extra oracle cards as well. But this card in particular is talking about the energy that surrounds you currently at the moment. So let's get into this. We have, oh, we have Gaia come through here. <laughs> this is actually an animal deck as well, but you've not got an animal, you've got Gaia that's come through. And that says harmony, abundance, wholeness, and forgiveness, okay. Right, beautiful. Um, and they're, they're telling me that, they're pointing me to the number 46 here on the card, and four plus six is 10. So I feel like there's some sort of completion that's coming through for you, or there's some completion that has happened recently and I'm really being drawn to these here. They're, they're looking, I feel like their eyes just watching me, um, which is interesting because this 
I'm getting a message come through now that also came through for pile three. Um, I feel like you're watching something, you have your eyes on something, or someone has their eye on you. <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot of eyes in this. Um, and I'm hearing eye, eyes at the back of your head as well. I don't know if you feel like you're having to watch your back. Um, that's an energy I'm getting through here, watching your back with something. Interesting. There may be an energy who is observing you that, you know, might not have your best interests at heart and you're being asked to really um, listen to your intuition with something. I feel like if this resonates for you, then it resonates for you. This message won't be for everyone. If there's someone that you are being suspicious about, because cats can be very suspicious, um, yeah, there's definitely that strong energy coming through here that you are right, listen to your intuition about that situation, okay? Um, but yes, amazing. There's some harmony coming through here. I'm hearing equilibrium, balance, balance coming back in. Cats are very agile creatures, very able to balance very well um, along things. You know, I'm seeing like a fence, like a cat just like walking across a fence. Um, they are incredibly well balanced. Um, and that is something that you are able to do whether you realize it or not. Um, you know, it's like you um, are able to, um, I'm hearing the word transcend, transcend whatever, you know, obstacles are put in your path. Um, we have abundance coming through here. So there's abundance opening up to you. Um, yeah, abundance is opening up to you. Abundance is your birthright is something that I'm hearing. Um, let's get into the tarot to see what wants to come through for you. Oh wow, we have here the Queen of Autumn, which is the Queen of Pentacles, which is a Queen of Abundance, which is beautiful. Um, I've cut the deck here to release, okay, number 13, so, which is also um, the death card as well in the tarot. Um, this is just another name for it. So yeah, there's something that you're, you're releasing or needing to release. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future and to remember me saying about the the energy of completion here with the number 10 yeah there's something a cycle that is needing to end or that is ending i feel like there's going to be an ending to something if there hasn't been already and um I'm hearing like divine intervention. I feel like your spirit team are putting an end to something. Um, and I have just cut the deck again to the dreamer card, which is also the fool card, a new beginning, you know, so you're ending something, um, you're completing something, and then you're stepping into a new beginning here. It says you are starting a new adventure, run free and take a leap of faith. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I just love that confirmation coming through there okay so animals what messages do we have please for pile four what do they need to know what do they need to hear thank you we have release coming through again so they really want to bring this message through right now strongly what message do they need to hear what do they need to know thank you oh we have the two of winter there. Yeah, you might be holding on to something here. Thank you. We have the princess of winter. Interesting. One more card. The nine of spring there. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Autumn, which is also the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, we have the Calico Cat. And this cat here really reminds me of a Calico Cat. Just look at the, um, the synchronicity there. Wow, that's so beautiful. <laughs> I love this. Um, okay so yeah there's definitely a new start here within something tangible within something financial to do with abundance and we did have this abundance message coming through with Gaia um so you may be a strong earth placement as well because the autumn is um also the pentacles okay um so you may be and we did see the queen of pentacles the queen of autumn as well before so you might have um 
uh, earth placement strongly somewhere in your chart again you don't have to be um, but, but can we see here this this cat here has got this full bowl there of food this full bowl of treats and it's like and all these coins there something is going to be overflowing for you and I feel like it's strongly to do with your blessings I'm, fe I'm feeling it a, an abundance of blessings flowing through for you and it's definitely um good karma coming back to you um whatever good energy you have been putting out you are going to be receiving tenfold we then have the empress card here so it's like this um nurturing something you've been nurturing something that is very fruitful and abundant for you so just keep doing that it's time to hop into action and use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life that is definitely something that is coming through for you which is beautiful let's get into these other cards and see what messages the animals want you to hear right now so again we have this release card coming through here it's time to release the past and move on to something new this ending is the first step on the way to a happier future so something is being removed from your life something is being released um and it's making way for something brand new and something incredibly abundant here so it's definitely a good thing so do not fear it but i do fear feel here with this two of winter card um the dash hound dog is coming through here i do feel like the two of winter is also the two of swords so it's like this feeling of um a stalemate like this feeling like not knowing what direction to go in or sometimes clinging on to something as well not wanting to see the truth of a situation is something that's coming through to me right now <clears throat> but we do have this says here procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision if you if you're torn between your own desires and someone else's follow your inner guidance yeah you might have some energies around you who are trying to control your choices control your um your pathway in some respect you might be wanting to start something completely brand new in your life start a new chapter of your book you know leave something behind and move on to something brand new and you might have energies or people around you that are saying whoa 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 is that right you know do you think you should be making that that change is that going to be okay for you um you know it's going to it's <coughs> excuse me it's going to be a lot of hard work do you really think that that's good for you um you know for some of you you know you might be kind of like um in the later years of your life and people are saying you know you should have probably made that choice 20 years ago not now it's too late it's like no don't listen to them you can make the changes in your life at any point whether you are 20 years old 30 years old 40 60 even 80 years old 90 years old you can make changes whenever you want to make changes this is your life okay so don't let anyone else confuse you or dictate to you where you should go and what you should um, do in your life okay just follow your heart follow the calling of your heart and your soul it's a strong message that is coming through here for you today um, don't worry about what others will think it doesn't matter it's not their life it's your life um, um, so try and get out of any energies that might be keeping you stuck or any energies of not believing in yourself or any energies of it's too much work it doesn't matter time is still going to move on anyway whether you whether you start today or whether you start in a year's time time is still moving so if you start today imagine how much you, that you can have achieved by this time next year and this time next year imagine if you hadn't have started today you would have looked back and said if i would have made that change then i would have been so much further advanced than i am right now you see what i'm trying to say it's like you don't let anything um, overwhelm you is something that might be coming through right now um, for you. We then have the Princess of Winter and that says loyal, sorry, logical, truthful, curious and undiplomatic. And this is the seagull coming through for you right now. And it says this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger, right? Okay, so you might receive some sort of message 
from someone who is quite blunt with their words, someone who is not very attached to their emotions um, or their empathetic side. They might be someone who is very to the point um, and uh, detached, to be to be honest, from their emotions. Um, someone who is just trying to tick things off and is not really thinking about how they come across to other people. Um, so you're being asked to try, kind of almost like transcend that, the way that you're receiving the message and just take the message for what it is. And if it's a message that serves you, accept that message, but don't be too... Um, I'm hearing overthinking, don't overthink too much about the nature of the message if that makes sense. Um, there's definitely some sort of challenge that is going, that is coming up for you or this could be this challenge to do with this release, this change, this unwilling to make a decision or this indecisiveness or this energy of feeling stuck or trapped but they're wanting you to know that you do have the ability to overcome this. I feel like you are someone who is very intelligent, you're able to really logically think about things, but also balance that with um, strategic methods as well. Um, so it's like, you know, if you feel you are stuck in something, you already have the answers within you, you know the way out, you don't need to rely on others to get you out of any situation you already have the answers within you is a message that is strongly coming through um but also it's interesting because the princess of winter is also the page of swords and to remember me saying about i feel like you've got someone's eyes on you that are eyes on you the page of swords can also is also the stalker card okay but i don't mean to freak anyone out when i say that but i do feel like there's someone strongly watching you right now um let me just pull a card on this. What is this to do with? Who is watching? What is this to do with? Oh, we have the Prince of Spring, which is the Page of Wands. Passionate, charismatic, confident and restless. It's the dolphin coming through here. Um, an opportunity arises that needs your attention. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. Okay, so there's, there's an immature kind of... Um, well, the Prince of Spring is the Page of Wands. So there's an immature energy here that I feel is watching you. Um, they might be younger than you, or they might just be very youthful in their energy. Um, they could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, they are someone who is very confident, very charismatic, but and very passionate about what they um, what they believe in, and. Um, and uh, but they're also very restless as well so i feel like this message might come through from this this person um yeah they're not very good at controlling themselves uh, they might act on impulses but this person is is strongly watching you um and i feel like it might be uh a physical attraction that they have to you is something that is coming through. I also cut the deck to a king of winter, a king of swords. So this also might be a mature um, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius, who is also watching you. It's going to be different for everyone, but also you might have multiple people watching you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Opening up a can of worms here. Um, but we then have the nine of spring, the gazelle. Wow. You've worked hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry, you'll get through them just as you have in the past. Yeah, exactly. What we were saying here about a challenge coming through here with this princess of winter, um, this nine of spring is also confirming that that challenges will appear up, up, along your path, but you are capable of overcoming them. Um, do you remember me saying at the beginning about being light on your feet and jumping hurdles? Well, the gazelle is very much like that as well. Um, um, leaping over obstacles um, so I feel like you are someone who has had to leap over a lot of obstacles you have had to defend yourself in many areas of your life throughout your life um, but it's like 
you've worked hard for something here. You've worked hard for this abundance that is coming through to you. So don't let anyone knock you off your path or make you doubt yourself in any way because um, this is something that is meant for you, okay? And you, are, you have the ability to pursue this and to... Um, to achieve this because you have already achieved so much and deep down you know it um let's get into your oracle cards and see what other messages want to come through for you oh wow we have the frog spirit here clear out the clutter and that is positioned right underneath the release cards again so clear out the clutter and release what needs to be let go of there's things that need to be released need to be let go of you need to make way for this newness that's coming through this fresh start this new abundant beginning there needs to be room that is made for this okay um because this transition that's coming through for you is so abundant and so powerful we then have the hummingbird spirit be here now i love this card it's just so beautiful be here now remember where you are and remember where you have come from we then have healing heart. Yeah, that makes sense. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. I was picking up on that message when I was channeling your energy at the beginning. This healing that is taking place. We then have the eagle that is coming through. Seize opportunities courageously. And we also have Archangel Bok Bok. Bokpi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, I've not heard of that archangel before. Very interesting. Um, we then have the magenta dragon. Enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom. Awaken your soul memories of and higher spiritual understanding. Pre prepare for accelerated ascension. Wow, that is so powerful. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. All these readings have just been so powerful. I absolutely love it. Yeah, okay, so again, clear out the clutter. What needs to be released, let it go. You know, you might need to be quite cutting. You might need to be very decisive here. Um, and um, I'm hearing take a step back and observe, you know, observe what doesn't serve you and um, just remember that it is for your highest good and it's so that all these abundance abundances and blessings can come flowing through for you and it will be worth it is a message that I'm hearing. Be here now. Remember to enjoy the present moment. I feel like you are very much focused on something, achieving something in the future that you might have a tendency to forget the now and forget to enjoy the present moment. And do you remember me picking up on self-care at the beginning of your reading? It's coming back to yourself, enjoying yourself, enjoying this moment, enjoying this experience. Um, let yourself experience all the beauty that surrounds you as a strong message that's coming through i'm also hearing music now um music is something that's coming through strongly um listening to music some of you might make music you might play instruments um come back to that let yourself enjoy that and experience that i feel like the music needs to be played the music needs to be played again i don't know what that means but yeah, that's a message that's coming through. And we have Healing Heart here. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. You are incredibly healing, incredibly powerful. And it's really interesting how this message is coming through for this pile with the cat here because cats are incredibly healing animals. Um, when, when they purr, when cats purr, they actually purr on a frequency that is healing. They can actually heal bones with their purr. Um, so often when cats are in pain, they can purr. And that's another reason why it's very difficult to find out when cats are in pain or when cats are suffering because they can be purring. And it doesn't mean that they're happy necessarily at that point in time. It's because they're helping themselves heal. Um, so it's like you're able to tap into that vibration you're able to tap into that frequency of healing and again this message of music is coming through this message of listening to frequencies 
So listening to frequency music would be very beneficial for you. You can find frequency music on YouTube for free. Um, all sorts of different frequencies you can find. Um, I'm hearing 432 hertz in particular would be really good for you. Um, to listen to. Um, there's something about music and healing and frequencies that you're able to tap into and I feel like you also give it off a healing frequency as well with just your natural frequency, just your natural vibration of you as a soul. It's very healing. Um, that's a beautiful message coming through there. Um, we also have um, this eagle card, seize opportunities courageously, okay? So these opportunities are going to start to open up for you, more and more opportunities. I feel like the more that you release, the more opportunities are go going to come through to you. And you are incredibly capable of achieving these opportunities. Um, and again, we've got this rainbow here. So again, this message of blessings coming through to you. I feel like you're able to see things from a higher perspective and just see how this sun is just beaming down here on this eagle get outside get outside into nature here reconnect with mother gaia um, the sun is very healing for you and also it brings you a lot of inspired ideas and divine downloads i'm seeing the the sun activating your crown chakra um so it's like letting light into your crown chakra, receiving these downloads. Um, it's really going to help you understand and see the way forward more clearly, okay? Um, with this magenta dragon here, awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding, prepare for accelerated ascension. Yeah, from me saying about all the work that you do in the astral realm, that is a message that is coming back up here. Um, you're definitely stepping into your soul mission if you haven't already. I feel like some of you are already on that path and some of you are just about to discover it. Um, it's almost like you're having another life within this life, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like in a, even like one, two or three years time, you're going to look back and you're not going to recognise the person that you are today because you are going to evolve even further um, within yourself, your gifts. I feel like your soul gifts are coming through to you. So anything that you have mastered in past lives is coming through to you. Um, I'm hearing the nine lives again from that cat message at the beginning. It's like all of these wisdom of this wisdom of your soul that you have worked on over lifetimes is all accumulating and coming through to you. It's almost like it's coming through to you. It's being downloaded to you. Wow, this is really a really powerful so things are going to start accelerating very rapidly and i feel like this could be within psychic gifts as well um within um within various areas of your life also within your career sector in particular because we do have the ace of autumn there and we did see the queen of autumn as well um yeah strongly within your career life strongly within your stability your foundations your home life um things are starting are going to start to pick up really rapidly which is absolutely beautiful let's just finish off your reading with um some advice from the animals for you know your situation and um see what advice they can bring through what advice do we have please for pile for pile three, what advice do we have, please, for pile three? Sorry, pile four, I do apologize for pile four. We've got the cicada coming through, which is beautiful, and that says cycles. Yeah, things are, um, you might have been feeling like things are, um, have been happening in cycles. I feel like there's a pattern there's a pattern to something here that you are being asked to recognize um, and break free of any patterns as well. Break free from any cycles that you feel like you might be stuck in um, here with this two of winter and this release. I feel like there's a pattern that is um, it has emerged and that you are noticing and recognizing i'm just i'm feeling the need to just keep doing this i feel like you're going round and round in circles with something um, and you are meant to break this i'm hearing an 
an ancestral cycle as well. So you're meant to break something here that has been pas passed down through your lineage um, from your ancestors um, and you are meant to break it and I feel like you are going to break it and you are in the process of breaking it. On the bottom of the deck we have the jellyfish and that says flow so yeah let yourself flow let yourself um become unstuck and just flow with flow with the energies flow with life let things just flow um i feel like things are going to start flowing more easily once this you know you have released and cleared out the clutter here um Things are just going to start to flow a lot more easier as you're going along your path. The more that you align with your soul purpose, the more things flow more effortlessly. Um, which is really beautiful message coming through here to finish off your reading. Thank you so much, Pile4, for, for tuning in today and for listening to this reading and watching. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please give this reading a big thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel. Also hit subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you join this beautiful growing family and community. We hope to see you in our next reading. Take care of your lovely selves. Bye.